Hi everyone, today I'm going to uh, show you how you can make a complete website in less than one hour. See, uh, this is really beautiful and also one thing else that this is a, a dynamic website. It has backend also, database also. And uh, also this is actually responsive to, see, this is a uh, iPad size. See, this is the navbar. This is really beautiful. You can just uh, see. This is responsive. And uh, if I make this small, this small size. I mean, the mobile phones. If you open this web page in the mobile phone, see how it looks. This is responsive, and this is really beautiful. And so, guys, let's let's start it. But don't forget to subscribe my channel. So guys, this project is not that much difficult as you think. This is so easy. Uh, let's just start this. First of all, you need to install XAMPP. So, Try to install it. Uh, let's just search it. Zam download in the Google Chrome. So it will show me some sites. You just need to find the Softonic. This is Softonic. This is where I download all my software. Not actually all. Some of them which are freely available, open source. So from here you can just download. It's not more than 150 MB. And uh, then you need to download also Atom. Atom is actually uh, a kind of software that you, uh, this is a, an editor. You can just write your code inside that. Uh, that's a little bit helpful for me because uh, when I write HTML and enter, it will uh, write the syntax of HTML for me. So that's that takes less time. So you can also use notepad plus plus or notepad these editors are uh, you may be familiar with them but atom is a little bit uh, more easily you can use it so you can also search for atom this is the icon you can just find it and then install it from any website that you can find it uh, so after installing these two you can also use if you do not have atom you can also use uh, notepad plus plus or notepad so after downloading them try to open the uh, zamp controller i have installed this zamp i have already installed and uh, let me yeah here just right click on this apache should be started and mysql should be started when they are started it means they are when they are green it means they are started when they are red it means they are stopped uh, so after starting this you can just uh, uh, open your my computer or this pc anywhere then go to your drive c because zamp is installed in drive c i'm going to drive c open zamp folder then htdocs and here you should make a new folder for your project what's my project let me say website website just open it here you just need to uh, make two other folders one for css and another one for images let me just write img okay and uh, here i just need to make a new file uh, it should be php or html but because i'm using php so i need to uh, give the extension dot php let's say index dot php index dot php do you want to continue yeah so inside the image let me just copy some images i have already downloaded they are in my documents images these things i'm going to use this so let's co copy them and paste it here so I have these images in my IMG folder 
this is my in, uh, index PHP let me just open atom I have already opened atom then open a project just sell, uh, click on on a, open a project and just open website yeah. sorry just click the website and say select folder then this folder will be selected for you and just close this one this one and also this one let me just open index.php so guys first we are going to have the html part so let me just open this index sorry it's next time html enter then this is the syntax of html whatever code we have we should paste it in the, we should write it in the body and what's the title let's say round two education guys don't forget to subscribe my channel so this is the title where it will be actually displayed on the browser in the top on the title title bar so this is only the title then whatever links that you are going to give inside it, it should be inside the head tag these are tags you may be familiar with this if not i will sh i will just uh, share other uh, videos actually i have uploaded and you can find it in my playlist of uh, uh, web designing web development you can go to the Bronto education channel and find that videos also uh, i have already discussed the head body and the uh, h1p these things so here let me just give this uh, link that's the link this is uh, let's say style sheet and uh, CSS slash it was a style that's it uh, I didn't make the style that CSS yet so I should create that file just open the CSS there is nothing here so say new file style dot CSS this is my style that CSS we may need it then let's uh, let me tell you something uh, you can easily find the codes inside the W3 school W3 schools control enter it will open the website W3 school uh, just go through uh, let me find the bootstrap we are going to use bootstrap it's, uh, it's a framework uh, instead of writing too many codes inside the CSS you can just use the bootstrap bootstrap for for example let's say buttons here actually when you go to try it yourself it should yeah this is the link that you need to use it in your HTML file or PHP file uh, because this is actually an online link whenever you open your website uh, and it is connected to the internet so these uh, you then you can just uh, use those uh, options which are inside the bootstrap otherwise you will not be able to use them so you let me just go through the codes yes so here inside the head I'm going to paste this this is the script or the links that we are going to use as bootstrap jqd these things uh, let's go through the body let me tell you something else uh, the website that i've shown that was actually um, let me bring that for you yeah see this is the first thing we see is actually the nav bar, nav bar. this image is a little bit dark if we go to this one this is a little bit light lighter in this one also see it's home we have home about us contact us this is actually uh, this is now war we we are going to find this from bootstrap w2 skill these things let's just go to google and search for bootstrap bootstrap for and this is the bootstrap get bootstrap open it go to the documentation and also go to the components 
which component we need i said navbar here we see navbar so yeah this is the navbar we just can copy this code you can use it this is open source you can easily copy these codes and bring it inside your own program website so here inside body the first thing that i am going to have is navbar what it actually do this is the navbar uh, so let's just save it and check it which changes have been made yet so let's just open chrome and say local host because i have saved this inside the htdocs and the folder was website and we have index.php the zamp controller i just connected see this is my navbar i only pasted this nav navbar code let's just bring some changes inside that so inside the navbar actually the first thing is this is our let's say instead of that i'm going to say i say brown to education it should be displayed instead of navbar we can also give a link to another page or anything else you can make it yourself and uh, then yeah i have home yeah then uh, beside that i have one thing else which is about us so let's say about us and uh, the next thing drop down we don't need drop down here so i'm going to remove this then another one is disabled so let's just change it to uh, contact us contact us you can make more uh, levels these are actually uh, sorry uh, these are list list item so disable is removed so now i have the contact as here this is actually the search bar i don't need this search bar i'm just going to remove this i have only home about as contact as and also here i have the brown to education let's just save it and uh, check it in the chrome what we have here okay let's just say local host slash uh, what was the name of her so slash next yeah here i have home about as brown education let's just put it brown education here and home about us contact us right there and uh, also let's just change the color into black or let's say dark black. here actually we have all we have the uh, we can change the color to this one now, now for the dark and background dark then it's changed the color so here the mr if i change it to ml from right to left so it means now that they will be shifted to the left side now i have all of them in the left side let's just search it. yeah left side and also i have changed the color to the black dark color uh, one thing else let's just bring carousel if you see inside our uh, sorry. here we have a slideshow this is actually carousel and bootstrap for in wt school side we have something called carousel let's just search for that yeah this is here you here you go yeah this is the carousel just need to copy the code and bring some changes so that you can control c let's just open the codes now control c here okay after this i'm going to just paste those codes now i have the carousel and also the carousel slide and i have the images 
here I'm just going to change that into ing slash what's my computer one let's say computer one.gpg and this one also let's change it to computer one this is actual alternate we can it it's it will be split when there is no image computer one for example and here also let's change it to ing slash computer two dot jpg and here also let's say computer computer two then here also let's just change it to country and i forgot uh, this one yeah ing folder and let's say computer three com three computer three so let's just check it if it the changes have been uh, done yeah this changes have been done but see this image is too much bigger let's just change it change the image how we can just image this see guys this is actually the class which i have all of them in all of these images inside this class and here only image that i'm going to change it so i'm going to open the css file and just say dots carousel inner and uh, inside that i have img let's just say height as uh, 100 percent and weight also 100 percent well, let's uh, just change it to 90 or 80 so let's just save it and save this one also and let's see what happened what changes um, have i met uh, did i did it just change no not yet why yeah, yeah this has changed now yeah, yeah so after this what we have after this images we have about us and see guys this is actually when we um, uh, partition our image uh, sorry our web page here it's partitioned into two parts the image and the paragraph we also have to do the same but before that we have heading about us uh, let me tell you something about bootstrap here which will make you how we can just make these things we have Dev for making for reserving a place. Then we have a row which we divide our um, our web page. Then we say div class of column minus lg means large screen when the website is opened in a large screen. Let's just put it as six. It means half of the page but when it comes to the medium size screen which is like ipad ipad uh, then that will be up let's give it also six but when it comes to the smaller one let's say 12 it means the mobile phones should be 12 uh, all of them should be inside that but oh, sorry this is for partitioning only the image and paragraph but before that we should have the heading part heading part should be all should be uh, reserve for that heading so let's let's say 12 columns column minus md 12 column minus 12 it means all of them should be that thing and this is our heading which we say about as and here we just need to use a style the text align it should be centered so now it's a center and here we are going to make bring an image and the source is actually imd minus com4 dot jpg and the alternative let's say that should be computer 4 for example and uh, inside the other one we are going to say that there should be class of column minus lg minus 6 but, and also for medium it should be minus 6 
but when it is mobile phone it should be 12 what it should display first it should be a heading which is talking about room to education then another paragraph it should be talking about that uh, this website is created by Bronto Education. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for more videos. So, guys, this is actually what we have to let's just copy this and paste it few more times yeah this is done we have the paragraphs let's just see how it looks let's see how it looks uh, this is not mine this is my project let's just see how it looks guys see this the image is actually out of ring it's weight is more and also high let's just change it let's, let's say that the image should uh, the image size should be what should be say style width width should be 100 percent not more than that and also height should be 100 percent not more than that let's see what has been changed here Yeah, see, image is this side and mm, paragraph is this side, but we need some padding here and also this side. Just give uh, padding left for image and right for this one and XY for the uh, uh, about as for about as, sorry, not XY, just padding of Y. It should be Y because this is up and down. Padding, give, padding of Y should be 5 and here this this one should be should have padding of left as four and uh, this one should have padding of right as four let's see what happened let's see what changes have been done here yeah let's see about as done yeah this is fine but see guys this one is it shouldn't be happen it should not occur shouldn't have this one so for that thing we have something called container fluid container fluid container fluid container fluid uh, so container fluid and let's just cut this one and put it at the end of this now all of them was in our inside the hat thing and uh, let's just check it what changes have been done inside this yeah see guys now we don't have that right here so this is about as is also done so guys let's go through the next part after run to education we have mobile phones so actually they are cards guys just find let's just find out the card codes from the bootstrap that's already built in and guys one thing else that's uh, see prone to education high a little bit uh, more uh, paddings just uh, we need to make uh, add some more paddings and uh, let's just find out the card see here we have cards now if we look at the cards and which one would be which one would we prefer uh, this one this one is better yeah just just copy this code copy and let's go through our code so first of I have copied just before taking the let's make uh, a container fluid container fluid guys 
and uh, let's make row because we need to divide the and we partition the web page uh, first we have a heading so the heading one is column minus og minus 12 for all of them it will take all the uh, columns we have total number of 12 columns when we want to divide this into two three partitions three partition each of them will be for for a large scale uh, screens but uh, the heading is actually it will cover all the columns i mean all the line and there is no other things with that heading so we should give it 12 columns 12 columns for large for the 12 columns for m medium one and uh, 12 column for small size and what's that that's actually our heading and we will say mobile phones this is just the heading guys and the style should be i mean the let's say the heading style should be what uh, text let's just say text align text align as what well. text align should be center and uh, the next tip I'm going to make is actually uh, for those cards then we should have what we should have column minus LG minus 4 but when it comes to the medium size I just need to have 12 means I have only one card in one part and uh, also for a smaller one again 12 and, uh, inside that I'm just going to paste the code I have this code yeah this is the div card and this is uh, my class this is for row this is for container flow yeah this is fine I have it right now now let's just change the titles and the images first let's just change the image source let's say this is actually image slash uh, mobile one move one dot jpg and uh, card image yeah this is just a card image here we have uh, let's say iphone x iphone 5 iphone 6 iphone 8 iphone 9 anything that you want and here we are going to just change this the text as iphone 5 iphone 8 sorry. iphone 8 is the previous version of Apple's Gameboy uh, it's cheap for example if it's cheap and uh, here I just say read more this is actually kind of button here you can just give it as a reference where it, it should go when it, when someone click on the read more of course you can make another web page and uh, link that web page here and then it will just by clicking that it will go to that link so this is just the first one for the second one we have to just copy this and paste it control C this is for row no we don't need for row here we are going to paste again paste so here actually this is the second image let's just change change it to move to iPhone 8 no let's say let's say iPhone X iPhone 10 iPhone X is the previous version of Apple's game it's cheap let's change these things here I have this uh, yeah this uh, here also the same thing I just change the mode 1 to mode 3 and instead of iPhone 8 I say iPhone 11 and instead of iPhone 8 I say iPhone 11 is the newest 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 this time we should say newest version then then we are done let's just check it how it looks
Let's see the result. Okay. Yeah, this is beautiful. Guys, see? This is very beautiful. But because this is not in the middle part, we can just uh, say the weight of images should be 100% weight. Yeah, here we have it as 400, but it should be percent. And here also the same thing, 400, no, 100%. Here also the same, 100%. Person actually is used for responsive websites. Let me show you guys. Till now, I didn't tell you about this one, but now I'm going to tell you that, yeah, really, this is awesome. See, guys, we have the cards here. We just need some uh, padding here. It should be, it should have some distance. Uh, this is it. Let's just uh go to the inspect and see how our website looks when it is opened in a mobile see guys when it's open in a mobile it looks like this this is how we actually done our part as making a responsive image guys this is responsive really responsive so let's if it, uh, let's just change the size into a little bit bigger just for uh ipads this is for iPad size. For iPad also, we have this beautiful responsive web page. Guys, you can just uh, increase the padding. So here we also, when we mentioned that column minus MD minus six, it means when it, it is opened in a iPad, uh, Again, it should be divided to two parts. When you say six, it means it's divided two parts because the total number of columns we have twelve. Then when it when you divide it uh, to three, so we, you should use MD minus four because you want three column. Uh, sorry, three parts. When you divide twelve by three, it becomes four. It means each part is occupying four columns. So this is how this is respon uh, responsive when it is bigger so it will look like this this is really beautiful guys in this much minutes this much time we could make a very good website responsive website so guys after this mobile phones we have uh, let's see what do we have yeah we have contact as this is another uh, let's make a div after this let's make a div here uh, this one should be let's um, inside that let's make form and this form uh, action means actually after submitting, after clicking the submit button, what it should, where it should go. So I say it should go to user.php, but I didn't make the I didn't make this file yet. But we will make after a few minutes. Then my method is post. It's more secure. And let's make uh, another div. The class should be form group. Guys, just see the magic. Div class form group. And inside that we are going to have an input input the type is text yeah we are going to give the text the name name is used just be careful about name because we are going to use it in our database when we are sending the uh, text into the database we are going to use the name so for this text because this is the name part we are going to take the name of the user so we are we are putting the name as you name and uh, one thing else we have placeholder it means actually we are not using label we are going to put the title of this text box inside that inside this text box of this site input inside that uh, it means we are going to show the name with a capital N inside the text box but that is removable 
and uh, let's let's give it a class of uh, uh, form control form control then let's have another div for our next input let's just copy them let's just copy them it will take less time this next input is actually mobile let's say mobile mobile placeholder should be mobile number and uh, the next one also is uh, input that's also text so let's say this one is as email and the placeholder should be email address and uh, after that the last but not the least we are going to have a kind of uh, text box not input actually text area sorry text area which is used for getting more inputs let's say text area as the name should be as a message name is message and uh, we don't need rows and columns we are going to use class as class as uh, form control so it will make it more beautiful and the least but not the least button we are going to have a button we submit so type is submit we don't need a name but for class we are going to have btn class or btn primary let's see let's see how it looks let's just see yes guys this is beautiful but we will make it more beautiful just just wait for that and uh, text should be uh, written in, in the button of submit and uh, before these things we should have a heading heading should be this one should be of what contact has guys this is actually the form part and uh, this one also need to have some padding let's say py as uh, p of y as uh, minus let's say minus five it will have a padding of y and one thing else that we should make this as the form width should be 50 percent and also yeah let's just check it how it looks first let's check it how it looks yes one thing else see which is has changed to 50 percent and uh, we are going to change the mm, uh, margin as auto now we will see the magic how it looks and one thing else that contract as should have the style of uh, text align should be center center control by step now let's see what happens let's just see yeah this is really beautiful but one thing is that the background should be we should have a background let's just say background as light should have a background light let's see what happens now this is the magic for for what for our move strap magic now guys i have this but one thing else i let me just have a margin of uh, top margin as three or less than five so four but after the h1 i need to have a margin of bottom margin as three so margin or padding let's say padding 
let's just see what has been changed yeah this is beautiful one now this is beautiful after this we are going to have a footer it's a footer the footer is containing an h4 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 and we are going to write it as developed by what grown to education grown to education let's just see what happens and this one also should have a background of this have a dark background then the h4 color should be let's say style style should have text line and also center and also what else color color should be white let's see what happens and let's give it as padding of three or four let's just see the magic yes we are done guys this is the front end and with this is responsive web page you can just uh, uh, check it this is for ipad when you open it in an ipad see how beautiful it looks let's just decrease the size to a mobile phone and small mobile phone and you see that how beautiful it looks yeah see guys this is really beautiful contact one thing as i forgot to put this these things should have a link i just forgot to put the links let's just open it and put the links how for example this part should have a link of contact let's give it an id id is equals to as contact contact okay then then my card should have an id of what an idea of idea of what this should be mobile phones mobile let's say mobile and uh, this one should have the about id id equals to about let's see here i had uh, some in the now for i had some yeah i had some ids here sorry some link see about us should be should take us to the about and contact us should take us to the contact but i didn't have i don't have the i don't have the mobile phones let's just add this one also mobile phones now let's see instead of this i'm going to say mobile control s let's just see what happens i have mobile phones yeah this is my mobile phone the link is now working so guys mm, let's go through the back end part Uh, for the backend part, I'm going to use PHP. This is just. Um, let me just uh, open the code, uh, guys. Uh, for as I told you that when when I uh, submit the button, when I press the button, submit button, it will take me to a file which is which was user.php. Uh, and we have seen that in the contact as form yeah here we let's see the form form is actually action is user.php so we have to use we have to make a file by the name of user.php so what we are going to do we are going to use php code here first we just need to open the php tag 
and let's just make a variable of con or connection we are going to connect this and uh, I have a function of mysqli connect this is uh, the first thing is localhost what's my server my server is localhost and uh, mm, my user is root and I don't have any password so I'm not going to go through that then if we have to check if the connection is successful or not if connection is one means it is done so let's just display what connection successful connection is successful and uh, else if it was not successful just write as equal no connection so when the connection the connection was successful then we have to do uh, save the variable sorry the, those things which are coming from your name from uh, from the form they have to be saved inside this user this uh, variables and then we are going to use the query to insert these things inside the uh, database but first of all let me just make a database inside my uh, inside my local host uh, mysql database first you have to check that it should be connected i mean the xamp the xamp should be control panel should be connected just right click on that see mysql is connected it's started because it is green so let's go through the local host slash php my admin slash index dot php this is where my mysql is actually located let's just make a website sorry i'm so sorry this let's just make a database and here i'm going to give the name of database for example let's say uh, website website just the name of my uh, database's website we are going to use it just don't forget it website at my uh, and let's website is my mm, database and I'm going to have a table inside that that is user information and how many columns should I have name mobile email message it's four and one for ID uh, that is gen auto generated as a uh, inside the database so we should have five columns and let's just create this what's the name the first column is id it's integer type yeah it the maximum is 255 and it is auto increment this is the auto increment port this is the primary auto increment so it will increment uh, by itself no need of you to insert as one two three then we have name name should be our car or charge or varchar or varchar or varchar doesn't um, some people pronounce it as varchar and some people pronounce it as varchar so name is not more than 16 bits uh, I don't think so more than 16 character so let's just give it 32 and uh, the second was mobile mobile number this one also I'm going to take as varchar because if I give it as integer or number it will not take the 0799 this number so it will start from 7 that will be a problem but when you say work on it it will take the 07 and then we're going to say it's not more than 12 13 so I am going to say 16 and after that email email should be also work on and uh, the length is not more than 32 the last but not the least our message our message will be also our car and the length sometimes the more so let's just say 128 or you can say 255 some people will give some more data 
okay we'll write something more so let's just save this and now you have your table you have your table so the database was website and the table is uh, user info i have this one here let's just go through the codes and uh, let's take the user name from the uh, from the form which was uh, taken the action was post uh, method was post then this parenthesis would be used for new name and uh, next one was uh, uh, mobile mobile is equals to underscore post this is mobile and uh, we have email email is actually uh, to post uh, then email and uh, the last but not the least we have message msg is equals to and uh, post here uh, let's just put it as message so we have the uh, we have just uh, save those inside the variables now let's just take let's just select the database so we say my sql i select database which database you're going to select by using a connection connection we are going to uh, use the website database and uh, let's have a query Query is a variable, so we need to mm, write it in uh, this form. So now we just what is the query which is going to insert uh, the, the uh, data in, into the database? You should be familiar with creating database and also uh, SQL queries. For example, when I want to insert. Uh, inside the database of course that is going to be select sorry insert uh, insert into which table you want to insert for example I say user info user info and uh, you should give the columns which columns you want to say for example name only name nothing else and uh, then you have to use values to give some values for example are the now this is actually inserting or you can also you can also remove this and just click this button it will tell you insert into user info ID name mobile email message values which values you want to be inserted so you can also copy this one you can also write by yourself here the query is insert into which table I said user info user info and here you should give the column the first one was name the second was mobile the third one was email and the fourth one was message, message. and values should be what values for of course it should be given by the form the first was saved inside the union so let's just zoom in then the second one is actually saved inside the mobile so we should say mobile the third one is uh, saved inside the email so let's say email and the fourth one is uh, saved inside the message so this is message so this and now we just need to uh, execute this query then we need to uh, use another function uh, so what is the function this is actually my sql by underscore query this function is used to uh, execute the query and the query was what was the query yeah this is the query, query. so when the query is executed and uh, uh, let's just check it if the connection is successful connect it is connected successfully or not 
so let's just go through the website first let's see what we have inside our table this is my user info table um, okay, so, oh, sorry. I'm sorry what I'm doing system hide this user info we have nothing here no any data but when we when the user comes here and send you a message he says that I'm Audi my mobile number is this one let's just say 07 07 these things and my email address is this Audi12426 at yahoo.com and uh, what's my message the message is please subscribe to my channel let's just check it please subscribe to my channel if I click the button so let's see the connection successful it means you are connected successfully and let's check the user info if the table yeah we have one Audi this is the table the data that uh, has come from the user part but one thing else when I submit when the user want to submit it it should not give me the connection su successful it should not show that for user so we just need to uh, change the location I mean it should not go to the connection successful part it should just come to the this part again so let's just say uh, inside the code we are going to use header so after submitting those things header should uh, just take me to the location of what index dot php it will take me back here control s now let's just see this was the coding part guys uh, i'm sorry if i took your time but let's just check it let's just change it let's say ahmed the number phone number is this is the phone number and uh, the email is ahmad ahmadi ahmad cs at cs at gmail sorry gmail.com please subscribe to my channel and share it with friends thank you so much for supporting So guys, after submitting, it should take me back to this place. Yeah, see, just took me back here. So guys, this is the complete website. I hope it will help you too much. And see the mobile phones, you can just see how it looks. Mobile phones, these things. And uh, let's go through the contact us. This is the contact us. So guys, uh, let's just check it for the responsive. If it's responsive, yeah. See, guys, this is when it comes to this part. This is actually the uh, iPad, iPad size. See, this is very beautiful. It is responsive, and uh, you can see about as mobile phone. Sorry, I forgot that mobile phone should have some padding. So okay, you can just add it yourself see how beautiful it is i hope it will help you too much thanks for watching the video uh, subscribe our channel and also share it with your friends uh, for better improvements for better videos please please subscribe our channel thanks for watching See you guys.